Hi, Romy Travelers. My name is Sarah, and I am a Midwest mom of two, and I love exploring hikes and other unique attractions around the Midwest, and especially the St. Louis area. Today, I'd like to share with you about 10 different hiking trails around St. Louis that I recommend for families or just for anyone who wants a easy hike or is just starting exploring outdoors. So the first trail I want to share is Powder Valley Conservation Nature Center. This is a really great spot, good for families. Um, it has three different paved trails that are all loops. Um, the first trail is actually only about a 0.3 mile loop, so it's really great for little legs or anyone who has a stroller. The other two loops do have some hills, so they're more moderate, but they are still paved. And a real highlight of this site is that it has a nature center, which is open Tuesday through Saturdays. And the nature center has some really fun interactive exhibits. It has different animals you can view. It has a little tree house kids can climb. So it's really a great place for you to explore before or after your hike. Now right next door to Powder Valley is Eminger Nature Park. And it's another great place with some easy trails for the family. There is a short paved loop just under a mile. Or if you want to hike something a little bit longer, there's an unpaved loop just under two miles that climbs up a hill up onto a bluff with some great views of the Merrimack River. This park also has a real nice creek for kids to play in. If you want a place to hike right in the town of St. Louis, you can head to Forest Park. Forest Park was actually just voted the number one city park by USA Today readers. There's 1,300 acres and miles of trails to explore here. If you're looking for something paved or you know want to bring a bike along, you can find all kinds of trails throughout Forest Park. There are some fun bridges to go across. There's a lot of water features that are fun for kids. And you can also explore the Kennedy Forest area, which is its own little conservation area tucked away in Forest Park. It's a little bit quieter than some of the other trails. Um, the forest has a mix of paved and unpaved trails that goes through the woods. It has some little boardwalks to go across. So it's a real nice place if you want something a little bit quieter away from the bustle of, you know, the museums and other busy areas of Forest Park. Another great area to go hiking with kids is Klondike Park. Klondike Park is located um, a little bit west of St. Louis, but it's worth the drive. Um, it's actually the site of an old silica sand quarry, so it gives the park a very unique white sand beach that circles a um, deep blue lake. So it's a real pretty place to walk, and the um, trail going around the lake is paved, so you could walk it easily or push a stroller along. If you want a longer hike, you can take the Hogsback Trail. It's an unpaved loop that climbs up the bluffs to give you a great view of the Missouri River and a great overlook. Um, this park also has a playground, which is always an added bonus for kids. Another great place to explore just a little west of St. Louis is Rockwoods Reservation. We love hiking the trails there. Um, they're all really great with lots to see. It kind of gives you a little sampling of the Missouri Ozarks, but closer to the city. Our two favorite trails with kids are the Rock Quarry and the Trail Among the Trees. Rock Quarry passes an old quarry mine site, so there's an interesting, almost like a little cave the kids can see. There's some interesting rocks that are fun to climb on or to view. And the Trail Among the Trees trail is paved most of the way, which makes it a little bit easier on little legs. Um, it's not something you could take a stroller on, but the majority of it is paved and it winds up a hill and through some really pretty trees. It's a beautiful hike to do in the fall. If you want to explore some of Missouri State Parks that are close to St. Louis, you could check out Babbler State Park. It's a really wonderful park that's close to the city. Um, it offers a huge variety of trails and almost every trail is less than two miles. So they're short and easy and good for kids. The park also has um, a paved bicycle trail. If you want a flat trail or if your kids want to bring their bikes along, then that is a great option as well. There is a visitor center, and the visitor center just completed some renovations. 
and it has some new exhibits to check out. So it's a really great place for the whole family. Another state park close to St. Louis is Mastodon State Park. It's a more unique site as it um, preserves the Kimswick bone bed, which is where Mastodon, bounds, bo Mastodon bones were found, and as well as some fossils. The visitor center features a little museum that features um, some displays about the Mastodons and the history of the area. While the state park itself is free, there is a small charge to visit the museum. There are three different trails at Mastodon State Park. Our kids' favorite is the Spring Branch Trail. It's less than a mile and it goes by a nice um, clear and shallow creek that's perfect for splashing. There's also a playground nearby, which is that added bonus to get kids you know, motivated for hiking. The next place that I recommend hiking with kids is Shaw Nature Reserve. Now Shaw is actually an extension of the Missouri Botanical Gardens. The um, Nature Reserve does have a fee. It's $5 for adults, but it is free for kids 12 and under. There are 17 miles of trails to explore. Uh, they're mostly easy. There are some hills on some of the trails, but they're really interesting as they go past wildflowers, beautiful gardens. There's woods, there's wetlands, there's a boardwalk, there's prairies. You get a good variety and diversity of nature on the different trails at the reserve. They also have a fun kids nature play area that has natural elements for the kids to explore and use their imagination. So it makes it really great for the whole family. Another unique place to hike around St. Louis is Lohmeyer Sculpture Park. The Sculpture Park is free admission and it has easy trails to explore. There are um, a mix of paved and unpaved trails. They're all mostly flat, so it's good if you do want to bring a stroller. And the unique part about it is that it passes by over 60 different outdoor sculptures and they're always adding more all the time. So it's real interesting as it gives you something to look at on your hike. Um, you could print off a map and make it kind of a scavenger hunt for the kids. So it's a fun place to explore. And the last hike that I recommend close to St. Louis for kids or beginner hikers is Cahokia Mounds. Cahokia Mounds is actually located on the Illinois side. So you just need to cross the Mississippi River and it's not very far. And the Cahokia Mounds site is a world heritage site that preserves the largest uh, prehistoric native civilization north of Mexico. So it's a real interesting place that preserves a lot of history and culture. The visitor center of the site is currently closed for renovations, but the trails are still open, so you can still walk around and get a view of the mounds. Most of the trails are flat, so they're pretty easy. Um, deer are very abundant in this area. And you can climb a monk's mound if you want a challenge. You can take the stairs up to the tallest mound at the site. And it also gives you a really great view of the arch and the St. Louis skyline in the distance. So those are 10 um, great hikes that I recommend for kids or someone starting out hiking that are close to St. Louis. If you're looking for more hikes around St. Louis, you can find more on our blog, MidwestNomads.com or on social media under Midwest Nomad Family. Happy traveling and exploring. Thank you.